Hi, this is Victoria Nale, and here with me is Miss Noreen Kidunduho, an associate at Triple Oka Law, a law firm in Kenya. Today we're going to talk about the electricity sector in Kenya and we shall have two videos. The first video we shall talk about an overview of the electricity sector in Kenya and also the legal and regulatory framework. And then in the second video we shall talk about the privatization and liberalization in the Kenyan electricity sector and also the challenges and way forward. Uh, but before we start, I would like Ms. Noreen to introduce herself. Thank you, Victoria. My name is Noreen Kidunduhu. I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, currently pursuing my master's in international LNG law and policy at the University of Dundee. Thank you very much for the introduction. So today we want to focus on the electricity sector of Kenya. Could you please give us a brief overview of the sector? All right, so the electricity um, sector in Kenya has various players in it. We have the Ministry of Energy, which is in charge of uh, making and articulating the policy of the sector. We have the Energy Regulatory Commission, which is in charge of um, setting the tariffs, conducting oversight, managing and um, looking at issues of the sector's regulation. Then we have Kenya Electricity Generation Company, in short, Kenjin. Kenjin is the main player uh, in the electricity generation sector of the industry. We also have um, Kenya Power, which is the off-taker. Mm -hmm. Kenya Power is also in charge of uh, the transmission and distribution systems uh, in the country. We also have Kenya Transmission Company, which is Ketraco. Ketraco is in charge of high voltage transmission uh, of electricity as well in the sector. Then we have the Geothermal Development Company, which is in charge of exploration of geothermal fields. We have independent power producers. We have the Kenya Nuclear Electricity Board, which is in charge of development of the country's uh, nuclear program. And so we see it's a vibrant and expansive um, industry with uh, key main players of the different uh, uh, sectors and segments of the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the brief overview. And then we shall go on the legal and regulatory framework governing the Kenyan electricity sector. Could you please take us through the legal framework? All right. So the legal framework in Kenya is, um, is a combination of policy documents mm -hmm. as well as legislation. So our energy policy is in the sessional paper number four of 2004 which uh, basically provides for systems within which Kenya can ensure adequate uh, cost-effective quality um, energy to meet the development needs of the country. So upon passing of the constitution in 2010, uh, those need to review this policy to accord with the changes in the constitution. So there is now a draft national energy and petroleum policy, but uh, it hasn't been enacted, it's still under review. And when it's enacted, it will then form the major energy policy document of the country. Other than that, we have the Kenyan Vision 2030 document, which is the national uh, development program of the country. So under it, it comprises of three pillars. So the economic, social, and political pillars. And the document recognizes that energy, uh, and in fact, uh, power, is one of the enablers of, this, uh, of these pillars. And one, a couple of the targets that the Vision 2030 document has is increasing our, our generation capacity to 33,000 megawatts, um, increasing our lines, about 8,000 kilometers of lines, increasing access to 100% of the population. So you can see that there are elements in it that build up on the energy policy of the country. We also have a least cost development plan least cost power development plan, which is basically a guide to ensure expansion and uh, transmission of the expansion of generation capacity and uh, transmission, which is now the grid. So um, the least cost development plan right now is a 20 year ruling plan. So the current one is for 2017 to 2037. So we also have a climate change energy plan. We have a renewable energy plan. We have a rural electrification a plan. So all these plans and policies are affected in the Energy Act, which is now the legislation, the main, the primary piece of legislation um, that covers the energy sector and the power sector in Kenya. 
Um, the act, there is now also pending in parliament an energy bill, mm -hmm. uh, which is now supposed to bring in the issues of climate change, of uh, carbon emissions, and it also looks at liberalizing um, the power sector in Kenya. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Narin. Uh, that was a very insightful discussion, and I have to note the fact that I'm impressed by the new developments in the legal framework, because mm -hmm. you've talked about the Rural Regulatory Authority, no, Rural Electrification Authority, I yeah. think. Yeah, we have the same thing in Uganda, where mm -hmm. our countries are trying very hard to ensure that the people in rural areas also have access to electricity, mm -hmm. and also the uh, acts relating to climate change. Yes. That's also something which is really good, especially considering the fact that there's a global move to transition to a low carbon economy. So thank you very much, Ms. Noreen. Mm -hmm. And I would like to thank the Center for Information and Technology, University of Dundee, for bringing you this video, for shooting and everything. Thank you, Michael. Stay tuned the next video. We shall be focusing on liberalization in the electricity sector of Kenya.